All right, so we're doing a quick audio check, um, as always. Perfect, so we have adieu. Now, this is game three, which I'm quite excited about. <laughs> Let's get it started, shall we? does take a while to load up, which is the only downfall, I say, of this game. Loading takes ages, but the game is absolutely immense. I do really enjoy playing it. Um, as I said before, if you guys have not played this, seriously, play it. Yeah, in the last game I got was it 10 assists, I think it was like 43 points or 42 points, something like that. It wiped the floor with the San Antonio Spurs. The Amway Center, where the crowd is on their feet already. A 2-0 start to the finals. Things could change direction here in Game 3. 2K Sports brings you NBA Playoff Action. In the booth with me, Steve Clare and Clark Miller. Good evening, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. You look at the match, their confidence peaking right now after winning the first two games on the road. They're right where they want to be. Well, winning the first two games away from home has put them in incredible shape. They just need to win two of them. If they can get the win tonight, they will be in shape. And the fans know it, Steve. They can sense how it is and are letting their guys hear. It's going to be a tremendous atmosphere in game long. There's nothing A look at the San Antonio Opening line. Down low, it's John Bain split. In the backcourt, Parker and Ginobili. And it's Leonard in at the three, the small forward. In to go. San Antonio on defense. It's a three point game. They're looking to bounce back after the bitter loss on Saturday. I didn't like the defensive game plan they had going into that one. It just seemed out of whack. And they didn't bring the energy necessary either. You know, it was before to me why they stuck with that, Steve. They dug themselves and then they didn't make the changes they get out of it. Didn't make any adjustments there. Here's Ginobu, the magic buck from 10 feet up. San Antonio missing. Here's Neil. Fires at the elbow. Called in Oops. by Duncan. And that's a shot he had. For sure, it was a good decision. Poor execution. Parker kicks. Parker misses the split. Outside. 
Shot clock at six. The feed now to Barton. And he didn't get off under that one. Still scoreless after four. Trying to take the lid off the basket. It's outside. Feeds the Hooked away. God's sake, boys, I'm wide open. Just one of five now overall. Magic leading by three. Here's Neal. Nice spin on the left rim and in. Neal's got five. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Parker outside. Ginobili outside. He kicks to Duncan. Back to Ginobili. Four on the clock. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off the shot. Four second violation. Yeah. <laughs> With the list of the best shooters during the postseason. Now you look at Vucevic leading the league in field goal percentage. He always gets good looks. And of course, skinny. Well, these two guys are consistent producers. I mean, they've had excellent playoff runs so far. The crowds get louder, and on every shot, it's got to be hard to make Well done, son. Well done. These guys find a way to do it. Wow, just a tremendous first quarter shooting the basketball for them, guys. Yeah, when they put it up, it's going in. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. The referees all over that one. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. The Spurs shoot their first free throws of the night. Gordon Shepard is the third Evan Fournier comes in for the throw of the San Antonio also making some changes. There's Diaz checked in for split. Hunter comes in for Duncan. And it's Green in for Mono Ginobili. There's Neal with the three. And he gets it to go. Neal's got eight. Excellent ball movement there, guys. Yeah, I think that's what's key this run, Clark, because they're keeping the ball moving. Defense hasn't been able to set up. Now, here's Green. Out to the right wing. Parker with a clean look. And they come right back with the surprise at a clean look. Point. Parker's got his second bucket of the night. Here's Neal. He dishes it to Gordon. Puts up a three. And again, yes. with a three. Response, retaliation, impressive, huh, guys? I'll say exactly Come on, boys. as well. Nice job to recover those three points right away. Oh, here's Parker. Six points for him. There's the dish to Bob. Back to Parker. Uses the glass to finish the way. Parker's got eight. Really hard to find fault with anything he's doing this quarter. At least at the offensive end. Here's Neal, covered by Parker. Dishes it to Harris. 50 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Neal passes to Harris. Here's Vucevic. And you can count him on the line to make it three. They've done a lot of good work with the ball. Really moving the ball and moving bodies, getting quality chances at the hoop. And they're not wasting chances when they get them. I mean, they're hitting their shots. Peyton, he's checked in for Harris. San Antonio also making some changes. Bellinelli comes in oh. for Leonard. And Mills in for Parker. Here's Mills, guarded by Neal. Dion, soft touch off the glass. And he was one step ahead of the defense when he, he was, fired he was that pass, ahead but he assist. Magic leading by seven. And Neal kicks to Vucevic. Oh, Vucevic. So the Spurs will take it the other way. 
Here's Mills. Give me a cuddle. Come on. Give me a cuddle. Pass to Green. He feeds it to Bellinelli. Puts it up from 12. And the jumper falls for him. Bellinelli's got his first points of the night. From half court, can't get it to go. Peyton, I was open and I could have scored it. And bit of action in this game three. And what do you guys think about the magic here so far in this one? Solid first quarter for this club. They came out strong and they put together some nice momentum here. Steve, I like the looks they got far behind. It's a lot of good. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lights. Courtesy Peyton. of Peterick as the second quarter gets going. On the court. He's in a shooting. Fournier out there with Gordon. Then there's Channing Fry. And it's Peyton in at the one spot. Spurs trail by six. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Thanks, guys. Skinny in their last game against the Spurs really lit it up. He finished with 42 points, as he usually does. Really knocking down shots from beyond the arc. Absolutely amazing numbers. Before I'm fucking up. For him and for us, Kevin. All right, Doris, thank you. It really was a stunning performance, Clark. He was at his absolute best. Yeah, and the only thing about that, Kevin, is it's almost impossible to do here tonight. Nobody's that, Clark. I need him to even half a that should be enough. The wing green all the way Ejected by the a minute and a half important. That's good. Oof. Very little resistance to the three point shot. And it's killing. That's four of the last five baskets they've allowed. Don't forget to say hi, people. So 16 seconds left now here in the second. Peyton dishes to green. Just hold on to it, son. Misses off the right eye. And so that's the end of the first half. Magic. Coach, you're going to have to climb a bit of a hill here in the second half. What are you telling your guys they need to do to turn this thing around? I think we just moved the ball a little bit. We were just on the dribble a little bit too much. And we got a All right, men. Big half coming up. Pay attention to what I'm about to say, and we'll be walking out of here with game three. No. Welcome back to our coverage of the NBA Finals. More action straight ahead. Skinny having a dominant impact in this game. I like that he didn't force anything. He was really flawless. That being the case, Steve, I think they want him to be more assertive in the second half. Look to take more shots. Be a little more shot hungry. Even the tough ones. Here's who Greg Popovich is starting. Ginobili and Leonard on the wings. Now low is Duncan and Split. And it's Parker in at the point guard. And the defense looking to protect the at all costs. Yeah, I like that. The fouls to save the layup. Make him earn it mm. in the line. And so Duncan hits him both. I'm on. Is it semi? Orlando leading by 12. These guys are quite hard to play on semi pro. Pulls from the top of the key. The right. shot will not go. And it is very dangerous to leave him open like that. Lucky break for the defense that he missed it. <laughs> Parker outside. Ginobili outside. Hunter kicks to Ginobili. Just five on the clock. Another shot. And so he draws the foul on the shot on a trip to the line to shoot two. These players can flat out shoot the rock. The two game leaderboard shows us the top three point shooters in the playoffs. Take a look at Skinny. He's absolutely deadly from outside. First one falls for him. He doesn't get the second one. Orlando's gone seven to shooting from three point land tonight. Excellent numbers from outside. Harris outside. From deep, Neal. 
and that one's good. He has got the lead up to 14 now for the match. Basically, man, all on him. I mean, he scored most of the points himself. Parker outside, and that will be sent in. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. To the paint. And that comes off the assist by Duncan. Yeah, my fault, my and fault. That's now 10 points for Tony Parker. Nice move and finish. I think the halftime break gave him a second win. He looks fresh. Here's Neil. And again, yes. it's a high open verdict. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. Spurs trail by 14. Down low. Here's Parker. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Parker's got four this quarter. I tell you what, the defenders didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Duncan brings the double team. Old Depot, the pass to front. Here's Neal, covered by Buck. Clock at four. Vucevic with the bucket. My boy. A solid start to the second half offensively. Gotten good looks, and they've made three out of four. Plus, also, my character is really good at doing deep threes. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They sure are. That's three straight buckets that have come off of assists. Neil dishes to Vucevic. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Vucevic has got two. Coming out strong here in the third quarter. That's four for five shooters. This is the first time I've actually played an NBA game, so I yeah, have to give me a bit of uh, leeway there, dude. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Mills passes to Ginobili. Here's Mills. He's covered by Neal, and the foul on Skinny. That's his first foul. Six. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of them. Neil dishes to Vucevic. Can't hit from in close. And you gotta like the defense inside, really protecting the rim. Down these shots and making his presence felt around the rim, that's exactly what he can give. Duncan kicks to Genova. And it's Leonard, top of the key. Three-pointer. If it goes, and the Magic lead is cut down now to just 11 on the bucket from Mills. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any agenda. It's hard to overstate all the points they've scored on the assist today. Beautiful to watch. And he continues to shoot well. As I say, it's my first one, so Hall of Fame difficulty is not going to be a, an ideal thing to start a game on. Mills has got five. Nice pass. He got the ball right into his teammate's shooting pocket. On time and on target. And Fournier kicks to Neal. Leonard brings the double team. A steal. Duncan, the pass to Ginobili. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Ginobili's As you can tell, I'm pretty crap at defense, right but... There. Very clever passing. That was just beautifully done. Here's Neil. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Really aggressive play, taking it to the rim against the big man. I'll tell you what, I love that fearless attitude. It's Ginobili on the way. Guarded by Oladipo. Three-pointer. Mills can't hit. Manchin leading by 12. 55 seconds left in the third quarter. Tries again. Vucevic. Misses the layup. 
For San Antonio, they've gone 6 of 10 for the field in the third quarter. Shoots the three. Rebound by the Magic. Vucevic has got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Neal, covered by Mills. Here's Oladipo. No good. I forgot to say, boys. Here's Leonard. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. The Spurs shoot their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. So both teams making some changes here. One thing that's missing from this game, I will say, is the customization of your player. Because you can't really customize him and you can't change the name of him. It has to be Guy Neal. Here's Fournier, kicks to Neal, lets it go from deep, that's good. Neal's got 13 points in just this point. As long as the things keep dropping for him, he'll continue firing away. And they are dropping for him. What a game he's having from deep. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit. We'll make Take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. How about the creativity, you guys? Terrific vision to pick out that pass to set up the basket. Some serious creativity. Parker with the steal. Oh. Harris at the four. Bucevic in the middle. Peyton is out there with Skinny. That's all right, though. They did a backcourt violation, which is all there. Kicks to Neal. Left side, Harris. Peyton outside. And here's Neal outside. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Peyton's got three assists tonight. Oh, they've come out of halftime. Smoking hot from behind the arc. Hey, trust me on this one, Parker. They are going to continue to let him fly. Oh, here's Parker. Gets hauled in by Harris. Harris has got his third rebound tonight. Here's Neal, guarded by Green. Gordon dishes to Vucevic. Six on the shot clock. There's Neal with the three. And again, it's the magic from I'm on a roll with threes again. Switch here. Green's checked in. Spurs also with the sub. Duncan's checked in. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. How do you max your guys out, by the way? Heard Orlando's coach as he addressed his team. He wants to see renewed effort from them on the offensive glass. He talked about the second chance points that are out there. Where did it fall over? He said also that their offense needs to be a patient one. He told them, don't rush things. Use as much of that shot clock as you need to. So coach waiting until the final stages to pull a few tricks out of his sleeve. Kevin, let's see if he's made a wise decision. And as always, Doris, thank you. Here's Green, following the score by Tony Parker. Orlando needs to get off his shot. There's Gordon with the three. Rebound, San Antonio. Quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Parker passes to Green. Here's Duncan. A terrific shot on the turnaround. You know, you can give a defender a lot of trouble if you're consistent with that turnaround jumper. It's almost impossible to block. And Neal kicks to Vucevic. Feeds it to Neal. Outside Gordon. Good ball movement here by the Magic. Green dishes to Harris. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. 
Parker with it. Now defended by Neal. Takes the three. Parker's shot is off. Very little success for him behind the arc today. Just one three-pointer in the first half and still none in the second. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. A great job getting the ball inside right now. Coach really wants Back them to show some physical presence and toughness here in the second half. That's exactly what they're doing. Here's what Orlando's going with right now. Fry comes in for Gordon, and it's Victor Oladipo in for Green. What the heck was the defense? Making some changes. Splitters checked in for Diaw. Better comes in for Marco Bellinelli. That's Shinobi in for Green. That's it to go. As long as he's been this good, the game plan should be simple: get him the ball and get out of the way. Parker drives in. That one rolling around and runs out. His touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. And Neal kicks to Harris. The dish to Neal. Out left to the wing. Vucevic with it. Guarded now by Duncan. Vucevic with the bucket. And they got exactly what they wanted against that defense. Ginobili outside. Parker passes to Ginobili. And it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. They have no choice but to lunge for that pass to stop it from getting through. Well, that was a good job. It could have been a quick bucket if he doesn't knock it out of bounds there. Now here's Ginobili. And Parker, here we go. And he gets it to go. Well, that was blocked by my own man. man. That's just oh, oh, shoddy. Block, I thought he might be. You know, Steve, I thought maybe he'd prefer to bring him out to the perimeter, but whatever works. These guys putting on a clinic out there. Everything is sound and sharp and crisp. He's really the centerpiece of their offense. Ginobili outside. He kicks it to Parker. Goes up from the top of the key. And he overshot that one, missing. Magic leading by 23. Neal dishes to Vucevic. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. It's what we like. It's what we like. Vucevic to the free throw line. Tim Duncan picks one up. As they make sure to slap that follow button, because I will be playing other games, and we're planning to play Outlast. Either later on tonight or tomorrow. Um, also check out the YouTube page. And as I said, if you donate to me and you want to play a game, I'm more than happy to see if I can find that game and we can play together. Deflects the Paris. And game three of the NBA Championship Series is all but over. Congratulations to all of you tonight on an outstanding effort and a well deserved victory for the Magic. Steve, you know, you don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out. Uh, Clark, this, this kind of punishment to Well, you know what? I thought they did a nice job of playing against the game. They kept the pressure on. Yep. We're dominant in every area. You look at the stats and you'll see how <coughs> dominant a game this was for Skinny. And a big part of their success was his ability to keep the ball moving and finding guys when they would flash open. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Orlando. Boy, their passing has been picturesque. A thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. And they continue to knock down the long-range three-point shot as well. And the Magic making a change here. Nicholson's checked in. Here's Neal. Ridenauer passes to Neal. To the inside. Ridenauer, that's good. That's it. They didn't take their time wrapping this game up. They pretty much did it in a hurry. Yeah, they had a nice spurt to polish this one off. And Mills kicks to Bellinelli. Ginobili against Green. From 15 feet away, Ginobili. That's good. <laughs> like my little guy. Whee! A little dive at the end there. Here are the <clears throat> it's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. And Neal kicks to Gordon. Neal is just a written hour. He's feeling it. And it drops again. A bucket for Neal. Neal's got 44. Terrific job taking care of business in front of the home fans. And Steve, I thought those fans, those home fans, gave this team a big lift all game. 
A lot of positive energy in the building. On deep. Off target. And so it's Orlando Damn. taking this one by a big margin. And this one was such a lopsided victory. They never let up. They were full throttle from the start. And that'll do it for Doris Burke, Steve Curry, Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us for Game 3 at the NBA Finals. Now it's time to present the Jordan Player of the Game. Oh, yeah. Player of the Game again. <clears throat> Well, as I say, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching this game. Um, I'll play another one, but make sure to slap that follow button for me. Everything helps me out. It's an amazing thing to see some people are following me. Um, also, check out the YouTube page. More stuff coming your way, like more Grand Theft Auto and stuff like that. Um, you guys are absolutely awesome for doing that. And as I say, if you want to play a game with me that I don't have, um, if you wouldn't mind donating towards it, then I'll easily try and get that game for us to play. <coughs> but yeah, only one game left. Should I play it now? Hmm. Enforcer. Or... Yeah, well, there's. I'll pop back on in a few minutes um, with game four. So you guys can see that. But until then, I shall speak to you all very soon. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll speak to you.